In this video, I'm going to explain how you can use ClickFunnels and HubSpot without using any type of custom code. So previously, to do something like this, you would need to do a Zapier setup. You would need to catch a raw hook, you would need to run some JavaScript, you would need to format it, and then you would need to set up the HubSpot integration. Now, this can be really tricky, especially when you're running JavaScript, you would need a special code for this, and you need to know a little bit about webhooks in order to really get this functional. Lucky for you, I'm going to show you a tool called CartFuel. CartFuel allows you to embed a payment form on any website. So in this case, we're going to be embedding it on ClickFunnels. And it allows you to have that sales information go directly into HubSpot so that you can uh, create deals and workflows and automations directly in HubSpot with no code needed. So the first thing is you're going to go to CartFuel.io. You're going to sign up for a free 14-day trial. And then once you sign up for that trial, you'll get access to the dashboard. Now, in this dashboard, the first thing that you're going to want to do to follow along with this video is make sure that you have your payment gateway set up so you want to connect your stripe account and we also connect with paypal now by the time you're watching this video uh, paypal will be released but for now just connect your stripe account and then once you have your payment gateway connected go to external integrations and then just connect your hubspot account when you click on connect hubspot it's going to ask you what hubspot account do you want to connect so you select the account and then just um, choose account and then connect it I already have my HubSpot account connected, so I'm not going to do that, but it's as simple as that. Once you have your payment gateway set up and your uh, HubSpot account connected, you're going to go to product actions, and then this is where we're going to set up our payment form. So what you're going to uh, do is click on new product sequence, and we're going to set up this payment form. Now, the cool thing about CartFuel um, is that we can not only accept one-time or recurring payments and have those payments go directly into HubSpot, but they also allow you to do upsells and order bumps. So if you're used to using ClickFunnels, which allows you to have payment forms, upsells, downsells, order bumps, and all that stuff, and you want that information to go into HubSpot, you can do the same thing with CartFuel. So let's do that. So the first thing is you're gonna give your sequence a name. So I'm just gonna say HubSpot um, book and that's it. And then I'm going to add a product. So let's say this is a hub spot uh, book tutorial or something like that. We'll say that. Um, and we'll say that this is $1 because I'm going to be testing this with a real card and I don't want to charge like $100 to my card. So we'll just do $1. Um, you, can cha you can change the billing frequency to one time or recurring. So if you do recurring, you can choose between day, week, or month. And then you can also... Um, cancel that uh, billing frequency after whatever month or whatever date that you want so let's say that you want it to be monthly you can ex so you can choose when you want that to expire I'm gonna turn this off and just make sure that this is one time and then I'm gonna click on save and you can see here on the right hand side this has updated now to one dollar with the HubSpot book tutorial now I'm gonna continue on um, to this section down here so you can change the currency but because I'm in uh, USA I'll leave it at USD and you can also add these diff different features like charging additional fees adding a countdown timer if you have one set up um, you can add a phone number field to this and then you can also uh, use HubSpot form so let's say you have a HubSpot form connected you can see that if I select this form it's going to appear in our payment form so this is great for collecting different types of information I'm gonna turn this off um, and you can also add shipping fields, add coupons, add order bumps as well. So all right, that's a test one, but you, you get the idea. You set up your order bump from here, you set it up, um, and then you can just toggle it on from here. I'm going to turn that off for now. I just want to sell this one thing. CartFuel allows you to add multiple products as well. I forgot to mention that. So if you wanted to add one other product besides this, you can just click on add product and add another product. We'll just keep it simple for now and just do this. Um, and then the next step is to customize it. So you can choose different fonts. You can select a different form style. You can change the text here from here. You can change the text here from here. I'm going to keep it as is. The placeholder text, you can um, change the name. So for example, enter full name will correspond here. And then enter email address, you can change it here. And then you can also split the name, meaning that if you don't want it to say enter full name, you can say enter first name, enter last name, which will help kind of um, tidy up your data. The buttons, you can change the button color, the button radius, the button size, and also the button text. So let's say that we say complete payment. And then let's say the button color, we want it to be that color. And then you can change the button text color as well. 
and I'm gonna go back real quick and then you can also um, add your own terms of service URL privacy policy URL custom head codes with like tracking codes or pixels um, and then you can also customize the CSS if you know CSS as you can see it's really robust in what you can do to make sure that it matches your branding and make sure that it matches your overall style um, especially when you're designing your click funnels you can match it to what you're designing in click funnels um, as you go so let's go to the next step the next step is about where are you going to send them after they purchase this particular product okay so you want to enter the url of um, where that person's going so for example if you wanted to sell an upsell you would toggle this on and then enter the upsell page url so in our case i am going to offer an upsell um, which is going to be an audiobook so what i would do at this point uh, let me just save this really quickly so I'm going to click on preview and I'm just going to grab this link really quickly. Obviously the order form is not here yet because we haven't done that part yet. That's coming up in a second, but we need to grab this link. So I'm just going to do this, which is super easy. Just delete that. And then I'm just going to grab this and then I'm going to go back to cart fuel and just enter that URL here. So when that person buys this book, it's going to redirect them to this URL and that URL is going to be our upsell. So now what we're going to do is just set up the upsell really quickly. So I'm going to say, um, House spot audio version audiobook let's say audiobook version okay and then what we want to do here is change you can change the header text color so if you want it to be a red you can do that um, you can set the price so let's say that this is going to be one dollar again because it's my real card um, and then you can also change the billing frequency. You can decide if you want to only show the upsell button or, you know, show what the product is. I'll keep it as is. You can charge additional fees. So if you have a service fee that goes along with this, you can do that. And then you could also charge taxes. The next step is to stylize it. So how do you want this to look? Do you want this button text to say something else? So yes, I want this upsell. Um, you can also change the button color and the button text color. And similarly, you can change this as well. And then if you wanna add another upsell, you just toggle this on um, and then make sure that the after upsell URL is entered for the other upsell. I'm not going to actually add another upsell. What I'm gonna do is just add a thank you page. So what I'm going to do is exit out of here and grab this um, link here. So this is gonna be our thank you page. Obviously, this is a test, so you're not going to see my styling or branding skills, <laughs> um, but you will get to see how this works full action. So let's exit out of here, go back to cart fuel and just enter this um, after upsell URL. And then for the no thank you URL, we'll enter that as well. All right, now that we got this done, we're gonna go to the next step. And this step is about integration, so you can connect Kajabi or Rewardful, but I'm not gonna go into that. And then the fifth step and final step is you can send an email from cart fuel if you don't want to send an email from hubspot or any other um, email service providers all right so now that that is done that's pretty much it so you want to click on save and then once you click on save you're going to see this video that shows you how to place the codes um, as long as the site that you're placing the codes on accepts embeds then you're going to be able to um, see the form so in this case click funnels allows embeds so we're just going to copy this by clicking going to our page this is our main product page. So the first page that they're going to see to buy the book. And we're gonna click on open code editor, get rid of this code here. Before we dive into the rest of the video, we like to thank our video sponsor, CartFuel. CartFuel is the easiest and quickest way for you to accept one-time and recurring payments in HubSpot. All you need to do is connect your Stripe or PayPal account, configure your payment form by adding countdown timers, coupons, or order bumps, then copy and paste the code they provide you onto any site, including WordPress or HubSpot pages. Did we mention CartView has one-click upsells? That's right, your customers can order more products without having to re-enter their credit or debit card with a single click. But you want to know what's the best part? When a sale occurs with CartFuel, your customer's name, email address, phone number, and products they purchase will teleport into HubSpot. It's like magic. This means you can trigger workflows to boost customer retention and decrease refund rates. All this and more with no custom code needed. Try Cart Fuel for free for 14 days by clicking the link in the description or comment section of this video. All right, let's get back to the content. And we're just gonna paste that one there. We're gonna go back to Cart Fuel and then copy that second code and then do some spacing and then paste that there. And that's all you need to do. We'll click on save. 
and then we'll preview this to make sure that it works. So one thing that you want to do is make sure it's in third party mode and then click on preview. And now this will show up. Perfect. Okay. So now the next step to, uh, to, to complete this is to do the upsell part. So let's go and exit out of here and let's go to our upsell page, go to cart fuel and do the same process. So copy that, go to the upsell, paste, go here, paste, and then make sure that this is in third party and then save that and then preview to make sure that it loaded correctly. And there we go. Okay. Now the final step is to test this out. So how do we test it? All you need to do, and I'm going to test it with my real credit card so you can see how this is set up. Um, but let's, before we do that, actually, let's make sure that in HubSpot, we have the right workflow and automation set up so that um, we one, get the contact and two, we have that deal set up. So I'm going to go to HubSpot real quick and come back to this in a second. So let's go to HubSpot and let's go to our automation and workflows. And I have a workflow set up already that says cart fuel book, um, pro post purchase sequence. And basically how this is set up is when a contact buy, uh, buys a product that contains book. So let me show you how this works. So the trigger, so if I delete this and let's go here all right so now we can see how this works so you're going to trigger this based on product purchase so if you scroll down trigger workflow win product purchase and you're going to select product name and then you're going to say contains book in our case because we're, we're selling a book we could we can get really specific so you can say equal to a specific product name um which you can totally do so equal to any and then make sure you have the name correctly as it is in cart fuel and it will um be very specific but in this case i just want to do book so I'll click on save uh, we'll just say save and don't enroll because we're we're going to test this live um, and then after that, I have it set up to send to a list. So I have a static list that I set up um, and it automatically sends the contacts to that list. And then I send them an email. And this is what you want to do for deals. So the first thing is you want to make sure that inside of your HubSpot account, inside of sales deals, that you have the pipeline set up correctly. So in our case, I'm just sending the new deal and you can see I have a test one here. We'll test it live in a second, but I have a new deal to go to the pipe, uh, the pipeline new purchase. So whenever someone buys this particular book, it's going to go right into here and then we can manipulate that and say, okay, let's move them to follow up needed. Um, after they buy this book, right? We can set up different workflows and automation. So as soon as they get into this pipeline, we can move them to follow up needed. Um, and then when we follow up, we can move them to holding and nurturing. So it just depends on what type of deal pipeline that you're setting up. But in this case, this is really simple. We're just saying whenever someone buys this book, we're going to send them to the new purchase pipeline. Um, so in here, what you want to do. So what I'll do is actually I will I will delete this and set it up from scratch with you guys. So let's click on plus. And then from here, you're going to scroll down and click on create record. And the type of record you're going to create is a deal. So the deal name, I like to add the person's name. So I'll just type in name and then just put first name dash. And then I'll just say purchased book because I know this is uh, very specific to the book. So I'll say purchase book. And then after that, what we'll do is we'll set the pipeline to sales pipeline, new purchase. And then the amount is going to be for $1 because that's the amount of the book. All right. Um, I'm going to toggle this on add timeline activity. So when that person is added, um, they'll, we'll see that in the timeline. And then also we make sure that this, um, make sure that, yeah, perfect. Okay. This is all set up. So companies, yep. Tickets associated. That's, you can toggle that on if you want, but, um, this is all you need to do pretty much. Then you click on save and that's it. That's all you need to do. So now let's test it. Let's go back to uh, ClickFunnels and let's uh, let's preview this and let's test this out. So let's enter our name here. I'll just do this because it is a test. Okay. 
I'll enter my phone number. And then I'll enter my card details here. I'll click on complete payment. And this will redirect us. And now we can say, yes, I want this upsell or no, I don't want, want an upsell. I'll say no for now. And now you can see it redirect us to our thank you page. Now, moment of truth. Let's go into our contacts and see if this person made it. So there I am, Jelani Testimonial, July 27, 2. Perfect. So um, I have my phone number's here, my email's here, name is here, life, si life cycle stage opportunity. The purchase that I made, which was the book, the initial product, is here. I only bought one of them, $1. Um, and then you can also see up here that I do have a deal associated with it. So we know it works. So you can see here, this is the deal. The amount is $1, new purchase. The stage is new purchase. So if we go into our sales and we go to deals, you'll see that I'm here now. And this deal has been created automatically from cart fuel. So you don't have to use Zapper. You don't have to do any hodgepodge, makeshift <laughs> connections with webhooks and JavaScript and all that stuff. All you need to do is use cart fuel, um, set it up correctly on your landing page, and then set up a workflow inside of HubSpot so that it creates a deal as con the contact comes in from cart fuel and the purchase is made through cart fuel. So that's how you do it. Go to cartfuel.io, sign up for a free 14-day trial to see how it can help you make more money with your business using HubSpot.